Hi, this is Andy from GNA Numerical. If you've already seen demo videos one and two, you'll know exactly what to expect here. In this video, I'll demonstrate the worked solutions to practice QTS numeracy test three from the Department for Education series. Unlike the many other videos out there, I'll answer the questions within the 18 second time limit, which is the main barrier for people in passing this horrible test. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. Practice question. In a mathematics exam, three quarters of the total marks come from a written paper and one quarter of the marks from coursework. In the written paper, one quarter of the marks come from a mental test. What fraction of the total marks come from the mental test? In a mathematics exam, Three quarters of the total marks come from a written paper and one quarter of the marks from coursework. In the written paper, one quarter of the marks come from a mental test. What fraction of the total marks come from the mental test? OK, so we need one quarter of this three quarters. So in arithmetic, if you find yourself saying the word of, it means multiply. So one quarter times three quarters is one times three is three, four times four is 16, three sixteenths. In a year group of 110 pupils, 66 pupils have school dinners. What proportion of the year group do not have school dinners? Give your answer as a decimal. In a year group of 110 pupils, 66 pupils have school dinners. What proportion of the year group do not have school dinners? Give your answer as a decimal. OK, so we need to work out the difference between 110 and 66. So we can count up, which is usually easier. 66, 76, 86, 96, 106, plus four more. The difference is 44 out of 110. Simplify and write Question the Question two. In a year group of 120 pupils, 75% achieved a level four or level five in key stage two English. 65 pupils achieved a level four. How many pupils achieved a level five? In a year group of 120 pupils, 75% achieved a level four or level five in key stage two English. 65 pupils achieved a level four. How many pupils achieved a level five? So we have to work out well, how many is 75% of 120. So 50% is 60. So 25% is 30. Add them together. So 75% is 90. Take that away from the 65 to get 25 pupils. In a year group of 120 pupils, 15 achieved an A star in GCSE English. What percentage of the year group achieved an A-star in GCSE English? In a year group of 120 pupils, 15 achieved an A-star in GCSE English. What percentage of the year group achieved an A-star in GCSE English? So 120 is an awkward number, so we simplify the fraction as best we can. So divide top and bottom by 3 to get 3 24 divide by 3 to get 1 eighth, and 1 eighth is one of those fractions you have to memorise, it's 12 and a half percent. Question 4. A pupil entering a year 6 class has an actual age of 10 years 11 months. The report from his previous school 
states that his reading age is 15 months above his actual age. What is the pupil's reading age in years and months? A pupil entering a year six class has an actual age of 10 years, 11 months. The report from his previous school states that his reading age is 15 months above his actual age. What is the pupil's reading age in years and months? Okay, so an extra 15 months is a year and three months to add on to the, the actual age. So we add on the year first, then another month, and then two more months. 12 years and two months. A sixth form group raises £82.50 for charity. The money will be equally divided between three charities. How much money will each charity receive from the group? A sixth form group raises £82.50 for charity. The money will be equally divided between three charities. How much money will each charity receive from the group? So we just have to do 82.50 divided by three and the traditional method is probably the quickest for this one to get £27.50 each. Question six. A teacher attends a consortium meeting. The journey is 7.5 miles each way. Travel expenses may be claimed at 40p per mile. How much is the teacher entitled to claim for travel expenses? A teacher attends a consortium meeting. The journey is 7.5 miles each way. Travel expenses may be claimed at 40p per mile. How much is the teacher entitled to claim for travel expenses? So, okay, don't fall for this trick. They always give you the distance one way, but it's a two-way journey, so 15 miles times by 40p. Imagine it was times 10p, it would be £1.50, and four lots of that is £6. A primary school has 60 pupils in year six. 24 of these pupils achieved three level fives in the key stage two tests. What proportion of the year group achieved three level fives? Give your answer as a decimal. A primary school has 60 pupils in year six. 24 of these pupils achieved three level fives in the key stage two tests. What proportion of the year group achieved three level fives? Give your answer as a decimal. So once again, we have an awkward number on the bottom of the fraction. So we simplify and simplify again until we can spot what the decimal is. So in this case, it's just 0.4. Question 8. A teacher plans a school trip, which includes a 152-kilometre coach journey in France. As an approximation, 8 kilometres is equal to 5 miles. Using this approximation, how long is the journey in miles? A teacher plans a school trip which includes a 152-kilometre coach journey in France. As an approximation, 8 kilometres is equal to 5 miles. Using this approximation, how long is the journey in miles? So, OK, use the conversion rule given and think of what to multiply to get close to the target. So times 10 will get you to 80 times by 2 is 160, which is a bit too much, so we have to take away 8 kilometres, which is 5 miles, to get 95. Pretty tricky one, that. For a practical task, 
A primary teacher needs 25 milliliters of liquid for each pupil. There are 28 pupils in the class. How many milliliters of liquid are needed? For a practical task, a primary teacher needs 25 milliliters of liquid for each pupil. There are 28 pupils in the class. How many milliliters of liquid are needed? So I've used the partitioning approach here to do 25 times 28. So 25 times 20 is 500. You could think of 25 times 10 and double it. 25 times 4 is 100, so double that, you get 200. Add them together for 700. Question 10. A group activity contains two tasks. In the first task, all five members of a group achieve three marks each. In the second task, two members achieve four marks each, and the other three members achieve three marks each. What is the total number of marks achieved by the group? A group activity contains two tasks. In the first task, all five members of a group achieve three marks each. In the second task, two members achieve four marks each, and the other three members achieve three marks each. What is the total number of marks achieved by the group? So for task one, it's just five times three. And for task two, there's two separate elements. So don't get mixed up with those. We just work out how much each is worth and add them to get 32 marks. A school trip is planned for 56 pupils. There must be at least one adult for every eight pupils. What is the minimum number of people on the trip? A school trip is planned for 56 pupils. There must be at least one adult for every eight pupils. What is the minimum number of people on the trip? So, OK, we've got 56 divided by 8, which means seven adults are required. We add the seven adults to the number of children to get a minimum number of 63 people. Question 12. A lesson begins at 11.40. The teacher prepares a 10-minute introduction, followed by a 15-minute video clip, and then a 25-minute activity. At what time does the activity end? A lesson begins at 11.40. The teacher prepares a 10-minute introduction, followed by a 15-minute video clip, and then a 25-minute activity. At what time does the activity end? So the total time for all of the different activities is 50 minutes, and we need to add that to the starting time. So add an hour and take off 10 minutes is probably the quickest way to get 12.30. I hope you found the video useful and you can start to see some of the shortcut methods to the answers. Don't expect success straight away. Some of these things take a bit of working on to get there. And the methods I've used are not the only methods, of course. So please use the methods that work best for you. Thanks for watching and see you next time.